This is tension, compression or zero in a truss, a particular example. Right, let's consider a particular example where we're trying to work out which members are in tension, which are in compression, which carry zero force. In order to do that, we're going to follow the rules that we have developed for forces at a point. A very good example, um, a very good place to start in this particular example, is at this node right here. We have a statically determinate structure, two pins, uh, pinned in the middle, but if we start at this point over here, at this point we have potentially two forces in these two members here looking at each other across that point, and we have a third direction force acting at that point. From what we know already in terms of horizontal equilibrium at that point, this member must be zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to rub that member out. It makes life easier to be able to consider what's happening from this point onwards. What I would do now is come to this point and say to myself, at this point we have these two members which look at each other, and this member is a third direction force at this point. It must therefore carry zero force. And therefore we know that the force in this particular member is also zero. So we'll rub that one out. Get rid of it, it makes life easier in terms of what's, contem what's to contemplate later. Now, if we go up to the top right hand corner, we have this member here and this force over here. They look at each other, and clearly, this long member now does not look in the same direction as those two. It's the third direction force, it's zero. We can get rid of it. And all of a sudden, we are simplifying the structure rather nicely. Okay, so that's a very good start so far. Let's now move to the other side of the structure. We can do very similar things. At this joint over here, we know that these two forces look at each other. That's the third direction force. That member is zero. If that's zero at that point, then in this member over here, because these two forces look at each other, this one effectively doesn't exist. This one must also be zero. And if this one's zero at the top node, these two potential forces over here, there are only two forces at this point now, and they do not look at each other, therefore they are both zero. And we can now very helpfully, effectively, get rid of most of the structure. And this is a technique which helps tremendously with thinking about how trusses behave, because very often you are in a position where you can do this sort of very simple analysis. So what we actually have now is we have a member which is being pulled in tension. As this node is being pulled over to the right, it must be compressing this member, it must be pushing this member into the ground, it must be lifting this member out of the ground, and so that member must be in tension. As this is in tension, this reaction must be pulling this down, and we must be pulling that member back and at this point, as this is digging into the ground, clearly the reaction is pushing up and pushing back. And there we have the analysis without using any numbers, really rather easily.